My name is Stéphanie Labelle. I'm the, I'm the owner of Patisserie Rubarme on um, just off of Laurier Street on De La Naudière. Here is a um, pretty easy biche de Noël that you can make at home easy. We have a sponge cake, uh, just in a you know normal sheet pan that you have at home, like a tray that you would bake uh, cookies on. It's important to put a paper under the um, your cake when you you bake it, uh, so it doesn't stick to the pan. Um, so here I flipped it. Um, here was the, the top layer and I put some sugar so that it doesn't stick when I re-change the, when I flip it. So it doesn't um, stick to my other paper. So here we're gonna dash some syrup. You can put pretty much whatever you want in your syrup. Here is a, there's a bit of lemon just to give a little tang. Um, and we add rum because it's Christmas and we're allowed to put rum in everything. So it's important to put syrup everywhere just so that your cookie's gonna be moist and it's not gonna crack when you're gonna roll it. Or at least it's gonna help, you know? Because it's a very thin cake and sometimes you can get some dry spots. And then we're gonna spread some coffee cream. I made a yogurt coffee cream. So what's important is that you give yourself a little border here without the cream. So when you're gonna finish rolling, it's gonna be easier. So you wanna spread that cream evenly everywhere. So this is very like personal flavors. You can do whatever you want. If you prefer vanilla, if you prefer spices, you could add some cardamom in there as well. That's also very nice, you know, for Christmas time, um, cinnamon or nutmeg and, you know, ginger, fresh ginger would be also very nice. So now, uh, here we have some uh, maple pecans. So these are just bits of, um, pecans rolled into maple syrup and then you keep on going and then eventually it becomes crystallized. You want to spread that evenly as well. Here we have some pears that we poached, um, some Flaming Beauties that you can still find on the market, Quebec uh, pears. There, there should be some um, until the end of December. So I'm just going to put two rows here. And that again, you could put also um, some jam or you could put also a different kind of nut if you prefer, you know, hazelnuts or I don't know, any other nut. We're on the, with our paper under. That's going to help us roll it nice and tight. You can, some people also use a um, dish cloth. I'm just going to do it free range but if you feel that you need you can also need use the paper to help you roll it. Just want to get everything in there. And it's important to press so that it's tight as tight as possible. And you see here now it's going to just gonna sit. Just like this. You want to even out the cream. And let's say it wasn't as you know as straight, you can also use your your paper and just turn it and push it with your offset spatula. So it helps and it tightens it and it makes it nice and round. We're gonna decorate it now. So here is like where you can let your inspiration go. You can decorate it however you want. We're gonna go and do very simply. Classic is with just powdered sugar. And we're just going to add a bit more of that coffee flavor. So here's just um, a coffee whipped cream with mascarpone. And I'm using um, a tip that is straight, but a bit wider at the bottom. It's going to give a really fun effect. And then we can use some of those poached pears again and have a recall of what's inside. And at home, you could also decorate your plate. Some people will put some um, 
whatever, like branches or, you know, to make it more to, you know, to fit with the, the rest of your Christmas table. And we're also going to add some pecans. I chose the ones that were nicest. We're going to use some white chocolate and finish them up. So here we have some half circles of chocolate. So here it closes your log. Easy. Do it. It's bon. It's bon. It's good. <laughs>